Hey, hey, what is up, YouTube? We are back this time with a Discord request. Now, the Discord group is basically an extension of my Buy Me a Coffee or Patreon supporter groups, and it's just a way for us to sort of stay connected and, um, you know, have the odd chat online, which is really fun. And one of my good buddies on there, Warren, who is a music connoisseur, always has a fantastic perspective on music and always has a great pick. The Discord chat, you know, is just <laughs> it's just video after video of what I'm sure is gold, golden requests. Um, and yeah, he th- he put this one up, and I thought, hey, I've seen that one floating around the interwebs at the moment. I haven't sat down to watch it, but I've seen people keep reposting this video. So you know, I'm going to do it. So this one is for you, Warren. Now it is a very current video, Steve Gadd rehearsing Country Road with the James Taylor band. And Steve Gadd, is a, he's an older gentleman now, so let's have a look. He, he's 76 years old, and he, out on tour? Come on. Now if you're not familiar with Steve Gadd, you know, he's someone who probably doesn't get a request a lot on the channel. Absolute legend. Session drumming legend. There's... There's famous drummers, then there's, you know, really, really great drummers. And then, you know, you've got this upper level of, you know, the Buddy Rich, Jeff Picaro, Steve Gadd, Jim Keltner, kind of that. These guys that have played on, you know, literally thousands and thousands of recordings. It's quite staggering. I know Steve Gadd as probably two tracks that I always associate with Steve Gadd. We're in this love together by Al Jarreau and also Asia, the song Asia off the album Asia by Steely Dan. Both of those are just absolutely mind blowing examples of just next level session king. That's, that's how the pros do it. No, and of course the infamous 50 ways to leave your lover groove and uh, later in the evening, uh, Simon and Garfunkel, well worth checking those out as well. Anyway, without further ado, let's just sit back. I'm not going to stop this because, um, yeah, it's the man, it's the legend himself, Steve Gadd. And um, let's check it out. Seventy six. Legend. This is really uh, backstage type footage. Probably someone on their phone, I think. He's getting his cat on now. Still got it. Wow. All right, I'm going to go down. Ruben Van Roon drum channel. Roon. Hey, come on. Got to subscribe for a, <laughs> for a surname like that. And I'm going to give it a like. 
just going to read uh, Ruben Van Roon's uh, message here. Thanks for all leaving comments, but two things. One, it is an empty, big-sounding classical concert hall. There is one big amplifier, so the cymbals started sounding real loud, especially when you have a camera mic nearby. Gad is a master of dynamics. Agree. Number two, Carlos Vega is a hero also and played amazing, but can't compare to Masters. Peace. I think, okay, I think Carlos Vega was the drummer on the original version of the song. Have to research that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the track listing here for the album, which was a 1970 uh, release, by the way. And personnel, drums, Russ Kunkel, another session legend who, again, a guy who would has not been requested on the channel. Absolute boss. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Now, I do believe Carlos Vega is, um, yeah, he'd be one of my favorite drummers of all time. i as you all know, probably by now, I'm a massive Jeff Beccaro fan. Jeff Beccaro is my number one drummer by forever, by miles, forever. But Carlos Vega is a drummer who got very close to Jeff in terms of sound and approach and just that golden, golden touch and feel. Uh, so perhaps I think I've seen somewhere a, a live transcription of a James Taylor song and it was Carlos Vega and the lives. So that's maybe what we're talking about here. We might be talking about a live version versus a recorded version. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is how the pros do it. Steve Gadd, absolute legend. And yeah, just a couple of tracks. What were the tracks I listed at the start? If you are not familiar with Steve Gadd, I recommend starting with El Jaro. We're in this love together. Asia by Steely Dan. All of you will know the, the song Asia. The album Asia features a lot of different drummers. So check out, I think Steve was only on the song Asia, I, I believe. Um, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover is an absolute classic. And Late in the Evening. Man, what an absolute gem of a drummer and still playing so beautifully. I didn't get into much of the actual... <laughs> drum content on this video I did notice how relaxed and how far back on the stick Steve plays it's just loosey goosey zen warrior master completely at home relaxed plays really far back and just you know employs that nice natural sort of flowing whip motion let's talk about space white and black and every all the shading in between that he uses with his uh, ghost notes and his dynamics, but just a master of space and note placement. Two people could play 16th notes at, I mean, I don't know what tempo they were playing there. It was very, very slow. And two people could play 16th notes at that tempo and it's it's on the click and it's in time, but sound completely different. Have a completely different lope and feel to the groove. And you just have to remember if if, the, if these kind of videos just wash over your head and you think, oh, wow, you know, it's, it's not very fast and it's, it's not very technical, you're completely missing the point. No, it's not fast and it's not technical. It feels amazing. We're getting very, very raw audio here, of course, from, you know, someone wandering around with a phone but by the looks. But there is a reason why these people get hired over and over and over again. They are sensitive to the needs of the music and the artist and they know how to deliver exactly what that artist wants and needs on their recording. It's no accident that these players, the Jeff Picaros, Carlos Vega, Steve Gadd, Russ Kunkel or uh, Jim Keltner, that they're on hit after hit after hit after hit. When things sound and feel good on the drums, you create a feeling within the band and when you create a magical feeling within the band, the artist is comfortable, they deliver a good performance, the producer's happy, the engineer's happy, we're firing on all cylinders, and you get a hit. Sometimes you get a hit. There's nothing guaranteed in terms of uh, getting hits, but you've got a very good chance. When you've got that caliber of communicator and listener, drummer, musician, you've got a really good chance. Don't forget to pick up your free 30-day trial with Drumeo. Link in the description of this video. In fact, I think Steve Gadd's done a little bit of stuff on Drumeo. You can head along there, check it out, learn from the world's best, and pick up a free transcription. Thousands and thousands of downloadable transcriptions. Absolutely amazing resources. 
If you are not subscribed, like, sub, comment, leave that comment with what you thought of the video and uh, what you'd like me to check out next and I'll do my best to get to it. Until next time, ciao.